Welcome to Amdog. Y'all ready for this? The sport of tennis dates back as far as the late 19th century, originating in England as a very formal game, strictly played by the wealthy. Naturally, it became a very formal game. Tennis still carries these traditions to this day, nearly two centuries later, and is now played all over the world. We sat down with members of the NHS tennis team to learn more about the formalities of tennis and see how their season is going. I think for me, just being able to be outside every day after school playing tennis together as a team is what always brings me back to it. Even if it's not, you know, the most competitive at times, you're mostly just trying to have fun and learn new strokes and how to better be a tennis player. I think also something that is really always the most fun part about tennis is the sort of friendship that all the players have and the bond that we all have and the energy on the court is just always so good and it, everyone is always just having a good time. Yeah, just to echo what Josie and Lucy said, uh, the team camaraderie is very important and it keeps me coming back every year. So for everyone who doesn't know sort of the rules of tennis, the honor system is how we keep track of our points and make sure that everyone is on the same page. You're constantly communicating with your opponent throughout the entire match, checking in about the score, what point you're on, how many games you've won or lost or anything like that. Just making sure that everyone is on the same page and keeping each other um, accountable for the score. Yeah, I think just honesty is a really important part of it. Um, during the game, making sure everyone's um, keeping track of the same points and stuff, and that's how we continue to play. Um, the formalities of tennis allow us to like hone our skills that we practice on every day and allow us to um, do our best. So actually, I think it's a very key part of tennis. If you've ever seen professionals play, that's what they focus on. Um, and the, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, support from um, the background of your team is also helpful when you do win a point and stuff, but most of the time we're pretty quiet and, you know, focused, and that does help us, you know, stay in the game mode, as Lucy said. I honestly believe that if you can control your anxiety and your stress when you're in a game, that is the most important part, and that is the most important thing when you're going to have success in tennis. Being able to calm your mind before a point, being able to sort of let all your stress go and just focus on the game and play hard and play well. Yeah, I think just making sure that you're focusing on yourself and each point as like an individual time that you could possibly win. And you know, every serve, you just have that mindset of staying focused and in the game, it'll definitely help. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next week when we talk about pregame rituals and sports.